What do we breathe? Air. Well, oxygen to be precise. Actually, oxygen molecules. What do we drink? Water. To get more specific, we drink H2O molecules. These are very essential atoms and molecules for us. But do you know how plants survive? Well, that's because of carbon dioxide. Actually, CO2 molecules. The building block of anything and everything around us is an atom. The screen you're looking into right now, the desk you're studying on, your books, your pens, etc., everything. So let's study this in a little more detail in this chapter. So, have you ever observed an anthill? It is made up of small grains of sand that form a large anthill. Similarly, the building blocks of all matter are made up of atoms. Atoms are very small. They are smaller than anything that we can ever imagine. An atom is a particle of matter that uniquely defines a chemical element. Each atom has a dense center called the nucleus, which has smaller, relatively heavier parts called the protons and the neutrons. Now, protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral and have no charges. Thus, the nucleus of an atom is positively charged because it has positively charged protons. Now, since we are done with looking at the nuclear part of an atom, we will now proceed to learn about the extra nuclear part of an atom. This part is made up of negatively charged particles called electrons. These electrons revolve around the nucleus like the planets revolve around the sun. Now, protons and electrons have an equal and opposite charge and normally an atom has equal number of both protons and electrons. Thus, atoms are usually neutral. A proton has a rest mass of approximately 1.673 into 10 raised to minus 27 kgs. That term, rest mass, means mass when an atom is at rest. A proton is electrically positive and has a charge equal to the charge of an electron, whereas an electron is electrically negatively charged. A neutron is electrically neutral and has a rest mass of approximately 1.675 into 10 raised to minus 27 kgs. Now, in this diagram, we can see that there are three different isotopes of carbon. All three isotopes have six protons. However, they have six, seven, and eight neutrons respectively. All isotopes of a given element have the same number of protons in each atom. Now, the term isotope is formed from the Greek roots. Isos, which means same or equal, and topos, which means place. The meaning behind the name is that different isotopes of a single element occupy the same position on the periodic table. C12 and C13 are stable isotopes, while C14 is unstable and radioactive in nature. So, isotopes are of the same element and have the same number of protons. And isobars are atoms having the same mass number, that is the sum of protons and neutrons. For example, argon and calcium, both these elements, have a mass number of 40. However, their atomic number is different. Argon has an atomic number equal to 18 and calcium has an atomic number equal to 20. Sometimes, atoms seek each other out. A molecule is in general, a group of two or more atoms that are chemically bonded together. That is, they are tightly held together by attractive forces. A molecule can be defined as the smallest particle of an element 
or a compound that is capable of independent existence and shows all the properties of that substance. Atoms of the same element or of different elements can join together to form molecules. The molecules of an element are constituted by the same type of atoms. Molecules of many elements such as helium, HE, are made up of only one atom of that element. But this is not the case with most of the non-metals. For example, a molecule of oxygen consists of two atoms of oxygen and hence it is known as a diatomic molecule. The number of atoms constituting a molecule is known as its atomicity. Molecules of metals and some other elements such as carbon do not have a simple structure but consist of a very large and indefinite number of atoms bonded together. Molecules of compounds on the other hand are formed when atoms of different elements join together in definite proportions. As you can see here, H2O molecules are the molecules of compounds, whereas O2 molecules are the molecules of elements. A single hydrogen atom is not a molecule. When this hydrogen atom bonds to other hydrogen atom, molecular hydrogen is formed. Again, when two such hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom bond together, H2O, that is water molecule, is formed. Common salt is a compound of sodium and chlorine, where sodium is positively charged particle and chlorine is a negatively charged particle and each of them is called an ion. Which brings us to our next topic, ions. But before we jump to the next video, let's do a quick recap. Molecules are formed when two or more atoms are bonded chemically. A compound is formed when different elements are bonded chemically. So all compounds are molecules. All molecules are not compounds. Example, two atoms of oxygen will only form a molecule, not a compound, because it is made up of only one element, oxygen. However, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen come together to form water. This is a compound because there are two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. It is also a molecule. Now, time to charge towards ions. Tutomate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.